what we need is good old harmony. She was America's sweetheart. You got spunk. <laughs> well, yes. I hate spunk. <laughs> and a cultural icon. Mary Tyler Moore paved the way for women in Hollywood, breaking barriers with her performances, first in the 60s on The Dick Van Dyke Show. But I couldn't go to a party knowing my son was on the verge of being sick. <laughs> then in the 70s on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, redefining what it meant to be a woman. How old are you? 30. No hedging. No, how old do I look? <laughs> Why hedge? Yeah. How old do I look? <laughs> In the new documentary, Being Mary Tyler Moore, never-before-seen photos, interviews, and archival footage found in Mary's own basement, tells the story of the woman who turned the world on with her smile. This is Robert. Uh oh What would people be surprised by about her that they may not know? She really was very, very reserved. Mm -hmm. you know, so on the one hand, the smile was there, and that was, that was essential Mary, and it was truthful and mm -hmm. honest and genuine. But there was also that part of her that really wanted to go be alone yeah. and sit and read and, and, and explore, you know, and, mm -hmm. and be curious about the world. Dr. Robert Levine and Mary were married for more than 30 years before her passing in 2017. Their love story started by coincidence. Mary's mom was sick, and it just so happened Robert was the doctor on call. In that first moment, I recognized this is different. And, it, and certainly our first date, it was so easy. Because I really didn't know Mary as a star, mm -hmm. so there wasn't fan star thing you yeah. know, going on. You so. had barely seen any of the Mary Tyler Moore show. Well, that's right. Because right. well, I was in college and medical school, that really wasn't what I was watching doing, TV. watching TV <laughs> on Saturday nights. And although she was married before, she had long said that you were her first true love. You must feel really yeah. lucky and blessed that that I was, was you. Absolutely. One of the parts of the documentary that's so beautiful is a video from her bridal shower. She says, he made me a tuna fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. And it was simple, but he made it just for me. He didn't make it for himself to share with me or for him. He made it just for me, and it was the first act of real love. I had never seen the video before. It was a complete surprise to me. It's the sort of thing that you would, you're the person you love, wakes up in the middle of the night, and is hungry. Oh, what do you do? You go to the kitchen, you make them something. And that was the moment that she says she, she realized that she loved me. And when I saw it, I said, my goodness, a simple act of kindness that changed both of our lives. Robert is one of the film's executive producers. He dug through boxes of home videos to tell Mary's story okay. and the way she would want yeah. it told. I suggested we call the film Being Mary to other more. Yeah. The thing about it was, being Mary, because everything Mary did, she was authentic. Yeah. She was being herself. She wasn't going to vacuum the house in heels and a, and a frock. No, she was Which was revolutionary at the time. You know, it gave women freedom. One of these women is Deborah Martin Chase. Along with producer Lena Waithe and director James Adolphus, she helped to create the documentary. She was one of the first powerful women behind the scenes as well as on screen. She both inspired me as her character, Mary Richards, and then, you know, I'm a producer now, and I look back, she was doing it all, and she could do it all, and she did it with grace and style. That inspired me in so many ways. Mary's influence is on display in the home she and Robert shared together. On this shelf are all of Mary's scripts. Oh, wow. Bound. This ordinary ordinary people. people. Yeah, so Mary won seven Emmys, <laughs> a bunch of Golden Globes, and People's Choice Awards. Wow. But perhaps the most special award, the acknowledgement of Mary's tireless fight to raise awareness for diabetes research. Mary was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in her early 30s and faced other challenges throughout her life. She struggled with alcoholism and suffered the loss of her only son when he was an adult. If you look at it from physical challenges, from health challenges, but also from emotional, she never shied. This was Mary's serenity. Now Robert is carrying on Mary's legacy, working to find a way to cure complications from diabetes with the Mary Tyler Moore Vision Initiative and showing the world how we can be just like his Mary. What an eye
eye-opening documentary, by the way. So Ugh. many things I just learned there. I didn't know anything about Yeah, that. and there's, I mean, he said that many people had come to him and said, I want to do a documentary, but it wasn't until Lena Waithe, who, of mm -hmm. course, is this revolutionary mm -hmm. filmmaker, said, I, I saw so much in her. I want to, I want to do this. Wow. That he thought, okay, let's tell her story together. And how about their love story? Oh, My word, that's their love amazing. Story was so beautiful, and and there's so much you'll learn about her in yeah. this documentary. What she, she, he said to me, and and she says this that she always thought of herself as a failed dancer. Dancing was her one true passion and not a successful oh actress. Gosh. Although he did say she knew yeah. her worth yes. and she knew what she did for women. Um, so yeah, anyway. she changed the landscape. She's wow. remarkable. Beautiful. And, and he is too. All right. Being Mary Tyler Moore premieres this Friday on HBO. You guys watch it. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful and it will be streaming on Max.